For this exercise, lay on your back, put your head to the floor with your chin tucked down. From here, raise your legs up, straight over your hips, and engage your core, pressing your low back firmly into the floor. Your low back will not lose contact with the floor throughout this entire exercise. In terms of your hand position, I personally like to have my hands outlining my butt on this. It helps to just remind me not to go so low that my low back begins to arch. You can also have your hands on the outside of your hips if you prefer that here or even behind your head. Now that brings me to what your head should be doing. So you can keep your head on the floor if that's comfortable. You can also have a towel or a small pillow giving you a little bit of elevation. If you'd like to, you can place your hands, just interlace your fingers so they're not stacked. They're just like this behind your head and then gently raise your head up off to the floor just a little bit. It's not way up here, it's just a little bit keeping that gaze diagonally forward. So once you've picked your starting position, remember low back's gonna stay pressed to the floor. We'll inhale as we lower our legs toward the floor, maintaining contact even at the lowest point through our back and the floor, and then exhale, raise it up. Inhale, lower down, and exhale, raise back up. If you wanna make this a little bit easier, right? You maybe feel your core not being able to engage quite as much on the lowering, just decrease the range of motion. To make this harder, increase that range of motion. And of course, if you need to, you can always go into a single leg raise like we've done, or you can do you know, one leg bent, or go into just a hold if that's more comfortable for you.